Donald Trump hasn't tweeted in 19 hours. What are your theories on what's happening in the White House right now? Backing up to the cloud. He's playing virtual golf and mobile strike on the Pentagon's servers. The Wi-Fi is down. Isn't he at Mar-a-Lago this weekend? Doesn't he usually tweet like crazy when has there? Since 01-01-2017, there have been a total of 71-19 tweets and 43 cases where more than 24 hours have passed between two tweets. Most recently on January 16-17 this year, the longest pause was 459 hours between 7th and 9th of June 2017. So the current pause isn't unprecedented, but still rare. Once it gets to 46 hours it will be a first during the presidency edit. I exported everything since 01-01-2017 from here. Hassled a bit with the US. Date and time format and then did a simple subtraction between each subsequent tweet time. Edit 2. 27 hours so far. Which leaves 21 cases where at least this long has passed between two tweets since the beginning of 2017. In 6 more hours 33 hours since the last tweet. This will be down to 6 cases over the same time period 337 hours. 34 hours. 373 hours. 385 hours. 403 hours and 459 hours. This should probably cover the interesting information. Edit 3. The president has returned. The final count was 39 hours 46 minutes. Which makes this the third largest gap between tweets during this presidency. By the look of the tweet. It might be that Trump was aware that the unusual pause had been noticed. This should wrap up this thread now. Big things. Very big things. Good things. You'll see. Things are being done very bigly. Do we have a statistic on his average time between tweets? Also, definitely read your handle as, love scat and things up. I got $20 someone gave him a Chinese finger trap. Someone stole his phone and hid it in the vegetable crisper. Someone gave him a fake phone. He thinks he's really tweeting. Pancakes. He dropped a heroic dose of acid, let go of his ego, realized his mistakes, and is now contemplating the meaning of life. Edit. Spelling. Ryan from the office opened a Word document and put a fake URL at the top. We've been protected by a hero without a cape edit. I was at work when I posted this. Seeing all of this made my day. My most liked comment is an office reference. Good stuff edit. And my first gold. The office never lets me down. It's weird that he hasn't tweeted about the Mueller report. Considering has been tweeting about the investigation non-stop since it started. TD is claiming that reports of no further indictments totally clears the president. Why isn't Trump doing the same? An intern is reading the Mueller report to him that was willingly handed over by Barr. It's the eye of the storm until what's contained in the Mueller report is made known. In the interim. Has probably been cautioned about making verbal comments. Perhaps a WH advisor told him. Freeze your teeth and give your tongue a sleigh ride. But An intern gave him a dummy phone. The worst is when you don't hear from the horse edit. You thanks for silver holy yes it thanks for platinum I'm glad you'll think him funny for copying John Mulaney also. If you don't know who he is. Check out the Netflix special BC has hilarious. Has at mar lago with Lindsey Graham, Sarah Sanders and his other lawyers. All I can figure is, if the Mueller report was good news for him, he'd be tweeting that. He started a very hard 25-piece puzzle. How bad is it that a perfectly normal thing like the president not being on his phone for half a day is completely out of character and a legitimate concern? My theory is that he's 19 hours into the first paragraph of Mueller's report. And X200B. Edit. His phone fell under the couch. Marv. SCP-4991 please. Has just going through metamorphosis. Don't worry. He'll be a beautiful butterfly soon. I just assume his aides have been playing hot potato with his phone for the past 19 hours in a desperate attempt. To keep him from blatantly incriminating himself in a fit of panic over Mueller delivering his report. 
The creepiest days are when you don't hear from the horse at all. Pottis actually reading the report is out of the question. And X200B, there's probably 100 staffers making slides and pictograms with the ones bar, needs to suppress highlighted in red all caps. And X200B, and X200B, and X200B. Executive time. Which means he's switching between naps and watching TV. Has gotten his hands on the Mueller report because Barr is a douchebag. But in exchange, Barr has taken his phone because he knows that dumb mother ducker would tweet something like, page 19. Line 4 of the so-called Mueller report is so wrong. Nice try Dems. And the world would know he got a copy of the report from Dodge opening a whole new can of ethics worms that Republicans would conveniently ignore. Has like 72 he probably died in the shower edit, thanks for the silver. Furious hasty plans are being made. His transformation is on schedule, while useful in many ways. Pseudopods are not sweeted for tweeting, his aides have mostly fled, and in any case he is no longer capable of speech, and would not be able to convey his thoughts to them. Many wonders await us all. He forgot how to spell password 123, and is consequentially locked out of his phone. He's having a meeting with William Barr to go over the report page by page. When your kids aren't in sight and they don't make noise, they are definitely up to something. The ghost of John McCain is teabagging him. Someone is almost three pages into the Mueller report. His lawyers probably probably advised him not to tweet about anything with the Mueller report coming out. Nothing. He's golfing in Florida today. In the toilet, and forgot his phone. Cluster FCK. Trying G to figure out how to block as much of the Mueller report as possible. Putin hasn't been returning his calls, so he's calling Kim and now they're having phone s time. Donald enters the secret bathroom he had installed next to Ivanka's office. Donald sits down on his gold line toilet seat ready to enjoy two Big Macs, while he watches Ivanka through one of the many peepholes has had, installed in the White House. This is Don is alone time it's very special to him. Ivanka enters her office. She seems so relieved once she shuts and locks the door. She removes her top, her jacket and her pants leaving her in nothing but her panties and bra. Ivanka says Alexa, play Melissa Etheridge come to my window, softly lip syncing the words. Ivanka stops to admire herself in the mirror giving herself a smile of approval. Donny, in his secret bathroom, fully ECT and fully expecting Ivanka to open her wardrobe and pick out an outfit, is shocked and sickened as to see what's inside the wardrobe. It's definitely not clothing. Cutouts. Photos. Even a poster of Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez lined the inner doors of the wardrobe. A few candles burn with a professionally done photo of AOC at the center with what looks like a tuft of black hair. Donnie can't believe his beady little eyes. Ivanka looks longingly at the photo. Sheds a single tear and just says someday as she closes the doors to the wardrobe. Donald takes a bite of his second Big Mac in sadness and solitude. Meanwhile, Melania, relieved that Donnie's attention is on Ivanka. Makes way for the White House laundry room, where she meets Chad, one of the White House tour guides. It's been a few days since she's seen Chad, so she is ready. Chad all of five. One, to I Ches is more than Melania is used to so it's hard for her to keep quiet as Chad ravishes her. Be best. Be best. Be best. Be 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 beast. Down the hall. After a few unsuccessful Tinder dates. Donny Jr. has just finished Red Dead Redemption 2. Donny puts on his favorite cowboy hat and starts running up and down the White House halls yelling ee ee ha ha as he pretends to be on horseback. The White House staff is used to this and plays along greeting Donny Jr. with howdies and y ee ee ha wws of their own. Donny Jr. concludes his Wild West gallop through the White House with visit to the White House kitchen for his favorite. Peanut butter jelly with the crust cut off and a glass of milk. Edits. Lots of typers and duck ups. Edit 2. Thanks for all compliments on the writing. An adult changed the password. A presidential haircut. The stylist isn't sure how to proceed, and Trump isn't good at explaining basic things. Maybe he found a really tough Where's Waldo book. Trump is golfing, 
while his aides try to condense the Mueller report into four bullet points with pictures. 34 hours now. He took a nap and no one wants to risk waking him up. I think the media is misreading Mueller's decision not to have any further indictments. I believe Mueller is leaving it up to the current AG to indict or not indict. That's because the current AG has not recused himself so Mueller sees it as Bob Barr's responsibility. I believe Bob Barr will refuse to indict a seating president on the grounds there is already a mechanism in place that needs to precede indictment. He will refer the evidence to Congress to either impeach or not. Trump's team suspects this, so they are going radio silent until it's confirmed. There's a horse in the White House. He's probably balls deep in a Big Mac. I think he only tweets when he is bored or wanting to get the outrage going. It might be a telling sign that he doesn't think he needs to throw a distraction. Or who really knows. It just seems like he purposely throws out wild stuff because everyone goes crazy and that is what dominates the news instead of other things. They're building a wall with all the bricks they are sitting. Two possibilities, either Trump is celebrating being cleared with a line of Adderall and two buckets of KFC, or he's packing his bags and leaving for Moscow before the feds catch him. How is he supposed to respond if Fox News doesn't have the report to interpret it to him? Singing give me that filet fish give me that fish. He dropped his phone in the toilet. Hopefully he had a stroke and accidentally knocked a toaster into Mike Pence's bath while they were doing their regular morning pray the gay away breakfast ceremony. I'm so confused as to what's going on. The Mueller report was finally submitted and Republicans immediately are calling it a victory. Did anyone check to see if the wall got put up? 